from here. Next, subscript. So we already know what a subscript. So we'll just try to understand it formally. The subscript operator is defined as a square bracket. So we right? We have done it for string. We have done it for list. We have done it for tuple. <clears throat> so this is just a definition you can say of subscript operator. Now I'm coming here. Positive and negative indexing. So when we talk about the positive and negative indexing means the key. Technically, how it works. Whenever you have a string, it has some area or it has some position in the memory, right? So when we say the T, it is zero at position till the 11th position. When we go reverse, that is S is minus one to minus 12. Okay, so we don't have zero over here. We have minus one to minus 12. And for the positive indexing, we have zero to 11. Any question anyone on this can ask me? No, ma'am. Okay, yeah, sure. So let's just move ahead. So this is a very small example where you have the Avengers and you're printing the O. Zero position, right? Or not zero or whatever you call. So it will print T. The second example is when you have the same variable name. Name may have carrier the Avengers DMA. And when we are printing minus one, so it is printing S. QS because it is taking the negative index minus one. Okay. Similarly, if we are printing minus 12. Minus 12 is again T because it is coming back from the minus 1 to 12. It is printing T. Okay. So complete this as an, uh, as an exercise where you have a string. I'm stopping the sharing. I want you to do it on your own. Create a file, a variable low. Just make a string assign karo. Or a string ko positive or negative indexing ke through at least four characters print karo. I hope you got the question. So complete this as an exercise. Let me know. So once you are done, let me know. 